Welcome to the Relationship as Medicine podcast. I'm your host, Shelby Lee, outdoor adventure enthusiast, dog mom to Luna, world traveler, longtime meditator, espresso lover, and a trained somatic psychotherapist, trauma specialist, and certified coach. Talking about trauma doesn't have to be so daunting. From a connected place, we can navigate anything together. Looking forward to exploring with you today. Here we go. Hey y'all, here is episode three of a three session series with dearest Tamsin Crimmins. If you missed the first two, I highly recommend starting from the beginning. Go back two episodes and listen to the intro there and the session, the coaching session that we started with. So you have a sense of the context and the trajectory and what we came together here for. This is session three. We, in each session, had a strong intention to allow ourselves to be messy, knowing that this is vulnerable and intimate to be sharing with the world. And so that holds strong here in episode three as well. With that being said, have a listen and let us know how it impacted you. Let's just take a few breaths if you're open to it as we arrive together today. Let's do that. Making space for all of the parts. And if you feel moved, you're welcome to begin with a few things that are going well, if that's supportive today. Mm. Oh, I made an excellent carrot cake. <laughs> it was really a triumph for my mom's birthday and she was she she felt loved and happy with that that um gift Mm. yeah so that was nice and I'm just gonna celebrate like just getting through hard things um yeah I don't feel like super celebratory I just feel like okay things are challenging things are tough but you know, I'm getting through it and I'm not doing drugs or something to get through it. So <laughs> that's always a celebration, isn't it? Like just keeping my feet on the ground and taking relatively good care of myself. And, you know, um, yeah, that's that's a celebration. Yeah. Even though things aren't feeling super celebratory there is part of you that has feet on ground staying sober not um feeling as overwhelmed by it as you could be is that right yeah for sure um I think I'm like yeah I think I'm staying pretty present to it all and like doing my best actually that does feel like a big celebration because a lot of the time I'm I will beat myself up for how I'm handling things and actually I'm like oh this is all quite shit but like (laughs) I'm I'm kind of like that's okay like um Mm -hmm. And I've definitely, I've like, I've I've used self-care as a way to beat myself up. Like I'm not relaxing well enough or I'm not (laughs) good enough care of myself or all of those things. And I'm like, oh, actually, I'm just like, okay, this is where I am. It won't last forever. Um, 
that feels like probably the best I can hope for, I would have thought, for moving through challenging things, like yeah. staying relatively steady and kind and recognizing that it's not forever. Yeah. It feels like there's a softness in your voice. I actually had tears behind my eyes when you said I was even beating myself up with self-care and I have known you for a while now and just am really appreciating how hard you've worked to find that it's possible to be going through a hard time because you're human and there's some kindness here I mean that's everything right yeah for sure and I just find it so interesting that like I have probably been a person in the past who who was not like so comfortable with other people going through a hard time and like you know have have wanted to fix it or ignore it or get dragged down by it or whatever it might be and it's interesting to kind of just be like oh this is just life this is just like we don't have to this is just it this is it (laughs) This mm-hmm. is the whole thing. <laughs> yes. Um, there's nothing really to be done. What I'm extra appreciating about it too is that this is our third session of three sessions in this particular container. And I love that we don't have to end high vibe, tying it up with a pretty bow. Everything's fixed and figured out and perfect. And uh, you know, we just meet everything exactly where it's at and who knows what will happen in the next 45 minutes, but <laughs> that we can, there's space for it all, no matter where we are in this journey. And I just love getting to sit with you in that. Yeah. I appreciate that too. Cause I've definitely, um, had the urge in the past to like tie things up nicely and make other people feel really good. And like, be perfect and be like a good girl and everything um but like I think you and I will probably know each other for a long time and there's going to be ups and downs throughout like the rest of both of our lives so yeah this is just like one moment but yeah I'm totally open for the next 45 minutes (laughs) um shifting things and like not feeling quite so I thought this call was in another hour and I was going to journal and kind of prepare myself a bit more but the, t- the time change caught me by surprise and um I was like oh, quickly thinking about an intention and where I'm at right now and like just I'd like a little bit of I'd love to walk away feeling a bit expanded in terms of what's possible I feel a little like I've become a little bit small just with the challenge that I've been moving through the last few weeks um just to kind of open up to the fact that like anything could happen would be amazing. Yes. So I'm hearing an intention come through for our time today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it sounds like it's something about, uh, opening up to all of the possibilities of growth and healing and having what you want. And there was something in there about small. Can you say more about that? Um, well, today I put on clothes that need to be ironed and I went downstairs and said to my partner I feel crumpled up and like I feel like I feel in more than one way crumpled up I just I've not you know I'm on day two of my cycle I feel a bit like I've just been through a washing machine and I've had a lot of just tumbling around with other people's things and like trying to stay centered as much as possible but not really winning <laughs> the whole way along so I feel you know I've not been on the yoga mat I've not been taking up I feel like not I've not been taking up space in any way apart from maybe like a slightly sort of childlike tantrumy way occasionally which feels really like a really old pattern of like keeping it all in and then having a tantrum and saying well what about me Mm -hmm. um so 
I don't really want to operate from that space. I want to, I want something different. Okay. So there's been some crumpling up day two of cycle, been through a washing machine. <laughs> the little child part has been here tantruming. Yeah. And I'm hearing that you love to be operating from a different place. And also I'm just smiling because uh, you know what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, well, we can welcome those parts too. And I'm, I'm so happy to be crumpled up here with you today, <laughs> if that's what wants to happen. But let's open up all of the possibilities. Mm. Yeah, I know. Because it's like, let's just be with it all. Which feels challenging. I'd rather just avoid it, you know. Like focus on other people or really stay busy with listening to a lot of podcasts you know like what a warning sign Mm. so I kind of recognize that I should probably touch in with it a little bit but I'd rather not I'd rather just skip to expansion (laughs) well now that you've said that I'm curious (laughs) I felt my heart kind of ache when you said the word avoid I'm kind of avoiding it, podcast, other people. Would it be okay if we just take a few breaths and welcome what's here, not go digging, just make a little space? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. And if it feels comfortable, maybe bring a hand to the heart or the belly. Welcoming sensations, emotions, thoughts. Welcoming all those little body movements. Yeah, we might just have to do the whole podcast, just quiet. (laughs) We can, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. It's like the moment, there's just like a little bit of space for me and like what's here, it's like, oh gosh. Oh yeah. being a bit like ignored just trying to get through everything not ignored but like this is your space fuck the podcast (laughs) this is your time there's nothing that has to happen Yeah, I just feel like mm, like my jaw feels very tense. I feel like there's quite a lot of tears behind my eyes. Mm-hmm. Feel a bit young. Yeah. <sighs> Whatever wants to come up gets to come up here. And I'm hearing and seeing some big breaths over there and sighs. Yeah. That feels good. Like there's a bit of space. My poor womb. Still like, oh. 
Mm -hmm. There's so much talking, huh? Things that want a little attention. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've got space for it all. Yeah, I feel a bit stupid. Like, I want to be all like, you know, like have a plan and be moving forward on all my goals and everything. And I just, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of pressure here, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did you feel that? Yeah. Would it feel okay to keep welcoming whatever's arising here in your womb? Yeah. Feels a bit better now, actually. <laughs> mm. Um, yeah. How do you know what tells you? Just like more space. Yeah, space. <clears throat> actually you know like I set this goal this this 500 words a day goal for myself like this kind of devotional like you know we talked about commitment and consistency and stuff and like Obviously, I was moving house and there was a lot going on last week. So I started this week, as you know. It's extremely vulnerable to get to a project that I've been avoiding for, like, a very long time. The project of, like, revealing myself to myself on a page that goes beyond journaling. Mm -hmm. um like it's only three days in and I'm a bit like oh bloody hell yeah there's a lot here there's a lot here when you said the word vulnerable I noticed in my own body just that kind of shakiness that tenderness Yeah. Tender is the word. Mm -hmm. oh, I want a nest of feathers to snuggle into. Mm. But um, my brain is like, well, you've moved house now, so let's go. Like, yeah. <laughs> Who is this? Which part is this that's shown up? <laughs> she is. I don't even know if it's ambitious is the right word because it's like. Like. 
she's tough Mm -hmm. really tough and like sort of thought it was okay while I was while we were moving house because I was busy with that that I was like not going for it in the business so much it's like okay you're moving house and you are taking steps towards move you know the pregnancy so I see that you are relatively busy so that's okay that's sort of a way of being able to wrap my head around this phase that I'm in right now but now that that like acute hard work of moving moving house is done and the pregnancy stuff is delayed by another couple of months while I get this vaccine it's like okay well what can we use these couple of months for then what are we going to do like let's how about we <laughs> launch a new um you know lead generation strategy mm, so she is that right did you say she yeah she uh likes to stay in motion it sounds like there's some busyness and movement when you said uh, did you say she is strong you said something like that did I say strong like tough tough when you said she is tough I was wondering like oh is this a protector part probably yeah well because she's like what the fuck is this (laughs) like are you seriously gonna and actually my mum said to me the other day she was like you know I'd made her this carrot cake and everything and was packing the house up and all this kind of stuff and she said to me um it's really nice that you're stepping into this kind of nurturing like homemaking kind of space um but and I've got to choose my words very carefully here because I know what you like (laughs) um just don't let go of your business and your economic power completely I was like I absolutely won't I absolutely won't I completely hear you you know because that's her story it's like you know had to kind of like she was a mother like that was her role um and then we sort of grew up and she was like oh what the hell am I meant to do now and didn't have a provider for her didn't have somebody there um so you know it's a pretty terrifying prospect to You know, and like I, I like keep having conversations with people about, you know, like women who have children and then don't work and they're kept women and like the judgments around that and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, like, God, how crazy would it be for me to have my partner provide for me so that I can raise our family and pursue my creative ambitions like Mm. that's not like god like what does that mean about who I am I have to also be economically independent and make money and have my own business and do all of the things well that makes a lot of sense that that part would keep you busy so that you wouldn't have to feel this (laughs) yeah yeah And so what I think I'm hearing you say is it's part conditioning and uh, being impressionable to other people's views and opinions. Yeah. And then there's another part that is actually really clear what she wants. (laughs) No. (laughs) And you're a little bit stuck in the middle. I'm seeing you kind of on a tennis court getting hit from both sides. I know because I just don't think that it's safe to want what I want like it doesn't it doesn't seem like a sensible thing to do and meanwhile Hannah is like the last couple of days in I, f- I feel like 
a traditional wife right now like she's in salary negotiations and I'm there like coaching her through it and supporting her through it because I want her to make as much money as she possibly can for us in this phase of our lives um I'm just like what is happening what is going on this is so weird all of this um and every time I say I don't really want to I don't really want to work I want to do a bit of writing and focus on getting pregnant I feel like horrendously like like oh god what will people think of that yeah even that all those people yeah <laughs> yeah you said something that really struck me in there and you said it's not safe to want what I want mm. Could we take a few breaths into that? And with that? Okay. And if you're up for it, welcoming some of that breath into the back of your body as well. And I have a question. Would it be a good time for that? Mm -hmm. If it were safe to want what you want, what could be possible then? Um, if it if it were safe to want what I want, to want what I want or to get what I want? You pick. <laughs> I mean, well, that would be delightful. I'm just like seeing us, our little family. having a nice time Mm -hmm. yeah what might life be like even right now in this process while you're focusing on creativity and having a baby oh I don't know about that oh no because I feel like um, in the space I've created, all I've really done is just create more space for other people to be, to support other people, rather than myself. <sighs> mm, yeah, what do you make of that? I just don't even know what it would be like to have this space and like, let it not be filled with other people or moving house or listening to podcasts and avoiding all of everything. Like, I can't even, like, that's just like, I don't even, like, maybe, maybe that's like, like a fingertip mm. that has access to that possibility. When I've been writing the 500 words, it doesn't take that long to write 500 words. And I've yeah. given myself that. And that's like, oh, this is interesting. This feels interesting. And when you're writing those 500 words, is there anything, I hear it feels interesting. Is there anything that feels good about that? Nourishing, supportive, part of what you want? Yeah, it's like, Um, 
yeah it feels like there's an unclogging it feels like there's a um <sighs> like a sort of um like I'm just a little bit more in touch with what I'm meant to be doing because like, avoiding doesn't feel very good okay so that feels like it's yours it's for you it's helping yeah. you feel and be in the space that you're wanting to be in is that right yeah can we take some breaths just soaking up that fingertip yeah Noticing if it's still just a fingertip or if there's anything else that you're aware of. I'm aware of like a, a bit of a blankness. Hmm. Is it okay to let that be here? Yeah. Yeah. Let's just let this blankness be here together. And you might even see if anything feels pleasant or soothing about that. Yeah, I like it. It's like, it's very nice, actually. It's just it's like a bit like, um, kind of like a meditation or something. Like there's just not a lot going on. And let's savor that. Let's let your body experience as much of that as it will let happen. I mean, my womb is talking to me. Hmm. <laughs> Just, yeah, like... Feels a bit like... Um, Like the blankness feels very much up in my head. It's like a blank piece of paper. And then it's it almost feels like my womb is like, well, there's quite a lot going on down here. Like maybe we could like hang out down here a bit more. Mm. Yeah. Sounds like womb is calling for some attention. Yeah. Let's sit with womb and we can just make lots of space and listen.
And whatever comes up, comes up. It's all welcome. She just loves this. <laughs> it's just so obvious. Like, ugh. Mm-hmm. Soaking this up. Yeah, it's just really like obvious what I want and I just let myself have it because it's right here. Mm. It's vulnerable, huh? Yeah. Because it's no one else, like it's no one else who's like, I get to choose what I do with this space that I have. And um, yeah, it's just, hmm. Like, it feels like overwhelming for it to be. Um, good. And like, it's like, mm. surely I have to suffer. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's really annoying though. <laughs> <laughs> it sure is, isn't it? Yeah, like, why can't I just, like, well, anybody, you know, just like, oh, why don't I just enjoy this amazing gift that I have right now? Or maybe not even enjoy it, but, like, allow it or something, or, or like... Well, no, I mean, enjoy would be better, actually. That would be my preference. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just keep enjoying as much as space allows. <laughs> yeah. And you said something a minute ago. I'm trying to remember your exact words, but you said something like, this is my space. I get to do whatever I want with it. Mm -hmm. And I kind of wanted to hear you yell that from a mountaintop <laughs> yeah yeah I need to claim it don't I is it a claiming or a protecting protecting yeah that's that's definitely the word protective yeah Yeah. And I'm here with you offering any assistance with that protection as well. Just kind of standing guard. Yeah. <laughs> like just having a new, a new client come in because I've not I mean I've yes obviously I've been busy and what have you but like I've not yet energetically opened my door to like a new client for example so then I'm like, oh, I need to invest loads of money in like getting this, getting this lead generation funnel set up. When actually I only really want like one other thing. Mm. Um, Cause I love working with my clients. And it's not oh, like, it's great at the moment. 
still not quite sure. Like, oh. and is it true that you need to energetically do anything to welcome those clients, or will they just arrive when it's time? Oh. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. And there's some part of you that really strongly thinks she needs to be doing. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. But if you could enjoy womb, write your 500 words. wonder what could be possible with the clients coming and baby coming and partner support coming without you having to do so much if your only job was just to enjoy <laughs> oh my god <sighs> that was that just yeah that is great that is lying on one of those lido things in the pool like that is yeah great Mm -hmm. oh my god and I can make my cakes and have a nice time and like actually enjoy god yeah I like the idea of like me enjoying myself and having a lovely time writing and wombing and yogaring and walking around and baking I like the idea that that's like, that's all I have to do and everything falls into place. Right. Because if you're yogaing and baking and writing and enjoying, we know from experience with you (laughs) that you'll fire off that email (laughs) when it's time that post will show up, but from a different place, clients will call. They're already in process thinking about it, right? Oh, yeah. You have, you do have something on your calendar to work with someone soon. It's all happening. <laughs> but there's that part that is so conditioned to try to create safety through doing And then I think that actually maybe shuts off the energetic opening for you to really have what you want to have, huh? Yeah, 100%. It's such a rewiring, and I know it's not easy. Yeah, I'm like, (laughs) I just need to stop consuming so much content, other people's thoughts and other people's stuff. Like, yeah. Because this is really, um, what I believe, like this, like what you just said is my way of doing things, my preferred way of doing things, let's put it that way. Like it feels true. And yet when other people are like, well, whatever other people say, like whatever they say. And that's where the protection comes in. So protecting these sacred parts of you from all that content. Oh, God. Yeah. It's too much. Yeah. And protecting them from anything I have to say about it, too. You know, (laughs) this is your space. Yeah. And the thing is, like, I only want to work with what people want to want. I only want to write what I want to write. I I don't want to help people. Like, I don't know that my way is what would help. Like, I can't take this way of being which is I do what I want to do and then maybe I write something and the person comes in 
and it's that's just what I need and it's perfect that you can't really scale that (laughs) you know which is like the like you know it's what we're supposed to do but I don't even want to fucking do that who is we and why are we supposed to (laughs) I mean there's also a Scaling down can create such an incredible impact personally. That's yes, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. I forgot. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> you got a little lost. I got lost. <laughs> I got scared. Of course, of course. This is a massive deconditioning and rewiring. You're claiming what you want. You're becoming a mom in your own way. You're claiming your creativity. How could you not get lost in the sea of bad advice and over content, over consuming, yeah. especially as a sensitive being? Yeah. It sounds like womb has some wisdom for you. Yeah. Always. and like you know at the end of the day I am not my mum and I'm not my dad and this story is has a different ending like it doesn't it's not going to play out the same way that it did for my mum or my dad simple as that yeah. You have done so much work. Really bloody have. Can I just, yeah, like, I'm just going to let myself have this. Maybe we could continue sitting with the ease of womb and joy of womb and bring a little kidney adrenal support, which is just right there on the back of the womb. (laughs) Does that sound okay? And any parts that want to speak can speak. Any parts that want to be silent can be silent. And we can bring our intention to your right kidney and adrenal for a couple of minutes here. Your adrenal, shaped like a pyramid sitting on top of the kidney. And we can welcome them both. And just allowing them to rest into support. open to all of the possibilities of healing. And then we can float away from your right kidney adrenal and gently over to your left kidney and adrenal. And 
in this adrenal shaped like a half moon. And sitting on top of the adrenal kidney. <laughs> Resting our intention here. So much space here for you. And then we can rest in a healing silence together for a minute. Letting the body integrate this work and this clarity. Take your time, and when you feel ready, you're welcome to share what that was like for you. <sighs> yeah, it's good. I think we had like a little affirmation a few weeks ago and I was just thinking about this I think you'd suggested something like something like I give myself permission to receive it all something like that and I'm like yeah it's just just needs a little bit of protection in there as well like I need to protect this space so I can receive it all Mm -hmm. yeah just like a mama protects her sacred little one yeah that feels really good Woo! <sighs> what am so I gonna do without you Shelby what'd you say what am I gonna do without you we'll find another chapter <laughs> we always do <laughs> so as we're coming to the end of these three focused sessions together, this time around baby and creativity, what are a couple of things that have felt impactful that you want to hold with you closely and take with you? Oh, goodness gracious. Um, I think it's this continual coming back to myself and remembering and re-remembering when I have that drive to take some kind of, like, put some sort of weird arbitrary goal or strategy or, like, outside thing to, like, make something happen and 
take a load of action that I know isn't what I want to do um to return back probably to like womb space really the original home and remember that like I'm allowed to want what I exactly what I want I don't have to make it look or be a certain way that I think will be more palatable for other people um and that my only job is to basically have a lovely time and it's all just going to come <laughs> like of course the, the baby will be here the clients the money like it's all taken care of yeah that's just I need to like write it in front of me and be able to see all of that because it's really easy to forget that's your homework yeah great <laughs> Well, it has been such a deep honor to sit with you in these three sessions and in every other place we've sat together. I so want you to get to have baby and creativity and enjoy the heck out of it. So I'm just looking forward to seeing what unfolds. Thank you so much for your willingness to dive into the depths and show up here in this way and yeah just thank you thank you I really appreciate having this space I am so honored that you have been listening thank you if you're inspired by these sessions it would be good for you to know that at this rare moment in time My practice is open for new clients in person, in Bend, Oregon, and online. There are a couple of different types of sessions for support, for personal trauma healing and nervous system regulation, or for your business and yourself as an entrepreneur and healing practitioner. Book a free intro call now to see if we're a good fit to deepen into this beautiful work of nervous system regulation and trauma healing together. The link is in the show notes. Have a beautiful rest of your day.